Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest round from Darth Merrick in the Jim Sniper 2 White Dingo type. Merrick reminded me I had this after uh, I ran Sonic's uh, Jim White Dingo round yesterday. So, yeah, uh, we're going to take a look at this. Jim Sniper 2 White Dingo has had a very interesting history within the game just because it's one of the few things I can think of that they've ever rolled back an upgrade on. Occasionally they will, you know, nerf something and then give back part or all of its stats later down the road as the game has shifted. But this is, but the White Dingo has a beam sniper rifle that does pretty good damage that you have to stop to charge. They changed it to let you charge it while moving because it, its uh, win-loss ratio was not good. And they found that after they changed it, the win-loss ratio actually went down, so the very next month they changed it back. Um, I think that might have been a little premature myself, simply because, you know, give people time to, uh, to uh, uh, adjust. But that said, yeah, they, uh, that is one of the few upgrades I can think of that they actually rolled back. Because, yeah, just something about that change really just messed with people, and it, di and it did not help, so... Good shot there. Yeah, Merrick is landing some really good uh, shots from a very long distance. Um, let's see, I, I was about to say, I see an Isaac there, but I think it's about to explode, and it did. Um, the White Dingo is a general type, so uh, against things like that, if Freet knocked, it is a really good match. And yeah, uh, he's again, he's landing some uh, great shots, doing a lot of damage. And this does have a dodge roll, and it's relatively spry, so you can, um, you can, you know, use it closer if you need to. But it's always nice to get an opportunity to run a sniper, you know, in a sniper's position, because it does not always happen. It often doesn't happen, in fact, which, you know, is unfortunate, but it's just kind of the nature of the game. Raids are fast. A lot of them have stealth, and if your allies don't see them heading towards uh, your sniper, you've got a big problem. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's somebody over there. Merrick is trying to snipe. Um, looks like he might have to inch forward a little bit. Yeah, because the beam rifle, I think, has pretty good range, but I'm not sure it has enough range to snipe all the way over there. Um... Also, you kind of have to watch out sometimes when you're scoped in because if the uh, if the uh, barrel of your rifle is like clipping through the scenery, scenery might uh, might just block your shot. That said, um, he correctly guessed that he was going to get hit with support fire, and so was able to get out of the way. There's the Isaac again, and surprised it didn't hit. I would have taken that shot too. But, okay, that is a Nemo, which, uh, oh no, excuse me, it's a G-Line standard armor. I saw, like, the visored, the very angular visored face and, uh, made an incorrupt, incorrect assumption. But, yeah, rifle was overheated. I think if you were going to do anything for this, giving it a, uh, faster overheat, or faster cooldown on the, on the rifle when overheated might be the best way to go. I'm not sure how long I've had this. I think... Merrick sent this to me after the uh, after the buff was revoked. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, you can probably check by the file name. But uh, no, the file name does not have uh, the date in it. So, But okay, there's somebody coming by. Good leg shot, 3381. Yeah, he's doing really good damage. And uh, yeah, actually getting to snipe, which is a nice thing. Um, let's see. Four minutes left. I'm kind of excited because uh, the day this video goes up, I should be getting, of all the dumb things, a, I ordered a popcorn bucket in the shape of Optimus Prime's head. Supposedly, it holds five pounds of popcorn, so I suspect it's going to be pretty large. Um, I, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, Transformers Rise of the Beast is out. All the people I know have seen it have said it was pretty good. So, I'm, um, you know... I just don't do theaters anymore because, you know, uh, I'm, I and most of my family are still in, you know, fairly vulnerable uh, demographics 
for uh, for the COVID, which is still out there. So I'm, you know, I'm staying home. I will catch it when it's on Blu-ray and probably like, well, judging by some of the things that have already come out on Blu-ray this year, like a month or two. So, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Um, also, there was a really nice uh, theater around here that served dinner and had nice, widely spaced, comfortable seats. And it closed during the pandemic and the new and the, it's reopened. They still do dinner, but it seems like the uh, seats are a little bit narrower now. No, I'm not any narrower, so meh. Also, just you know, if it had if it had the original seats, that might be enough uh, distance for me to be comfortable, you know, with being in there. But not not with the new layout I've seen. So that's just me. Ah, uh, let's see. But yeah, landed some uh, good shots, made some good kills, and two minutes left. I it has been a long time since I have had a round where I got to keep a sniper roost this long. That's it's kind of amazing, honestly. But, uh, you know. Ah, ha happy Merrick got to do it, so. Let's see. 72.90-41.55. Going fairly well. And. Let's see. That is some type of Dom. I think it might be Dwudge Custom. Um, or Doage Custom. There's. You know, I can never tell which is which. Or which is the better pronunciation. But, uh. At any rate, yeah, he's pulling forward a little bit because everybody's fighting behind that building, which means they're, you know, the enemy team basically finally got wise to the fact that if they, you know, get out in the open, they're going to get their legs shot out. So they're all, you know, keeping the cover while engaging the rest of Merrick's team. That is pretty much, if you're not going to, you know, do the seek and destroy thing on the enemy sniper, that is pretty much the right uh, response is to get out of their range. That said, not everybody decided to get out of the range. I think that would. I think that is probably a Nemo. But, uh, yeah, that sure looks like the uh, Nemo's. Uh, I think it's 180mm cannon. Something, or is it 160 for that? Either way, um, yeah. But, yeah, it looks like with 40 some seconds left, uh, the enemy team has finally, you know, moved in on Merrick, so he's going to have to deal with that. Luckily, this Isaac seems to be the only one. Uh, White Dingo does have melee combo controller, so yeah, he's got it. 30 seconds to go. He's in the clear. There's a couple of potential decent shots around here. But yeah, he's keeping back. Because this when you've gotten this far into a round without dying, you may as well, you know, try and take it all the way. Good timing. Okay, yeah, that was a good shot. I think he did take a couple of bullets there. Somebody was definitely trying to shoot at him. Probably that G-Line standard. That, that Gatling Smasher has pretty good range. But he is going to end the round undefeated. Oh man, if that person had not gone... Oh, perfect timing, yeah, because if, if they'd gotten one more hit on him, that would have been it. But yeah, he managed to pull through. Shame that person walked behind the building, because he could have gotten one more uh, uh, kill in. But still, 68,000 damage, 600 points of assists. And yeah, uh, no deaths, and I believe it is three kills. Yep, three kills. 1875, not bad at all. So thank you for sending uh, that my way, Merrick, and reminding me I had it. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I believe that's the uh, Lido Wolf uh, colors that uh, he's using on the Jim Sniper White Dingo. Um, I think I wound up running some requests in that as well. They're from a while back, but, you know, they're on the channel somewhere, along with a whole bunch of other stuff.